Please tell me that jerk in room 24 got discharged. Oh, thank God. I was ready to sucker punch that guy. Such a dick. Yeah, well, with the amount of alcohol he had in his body stream, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no shit. Are you gonna put him in his place? Good. Someone needed to. Oh yeah, the new place is great. We just finished unpacking the last of the stuff. Moving always takes so long. <laughs> yeah, it's our first place together. So far, so good. It's nice to come home after the shift and see him. I look forward to it. Shut up. I know it's happy, I just... I'm happy. For the first time in a long time. <laughs> Thank you. And hey, if you feel like getting back in the dating scene, let me know. I'm sure I could arrange a date or two. Alright, fine. Anyway, so I'm due for my lunch, so I'm gonna duck out while it's quiet. Oh, not. Crap. Why does this always happen to me? Alright, right. No rest for the wicked. The intake gonna bring them in the room for? Alright, I'll grab my chore. Hey, right, Rich, what we got? Found unconscious at the bottom of the stairs. Really? <laughs> no, I just didn't think anyone was actually that clumsy. I mean, aside from my boyfriend. Do they remember anything? Okay. Probably gonna need a CT scan. Let me see what we're doing with. Hey, I'm Dr. Holy shit, sweetheart. Is this supposed to make me laugh? What the hell happened? <clears throat> Look at me. Follow the light with your eyes. Don't move your head. Don't move your head, sweetheart. <sighs> your right people is dilated. Do you have any bruises? Your side? Let me see. Does it hurt when I press here? Easy. Okay, I'm stopping. Seems like you cracked a rib on your fall, too. So, what did you eat today? No dancing around the answer. Tell me. For fuck's sake. I know you have to work. So do I. But you're so deep in your work that's starting to take a toll on you. If someone hadn't found you at the bottom of the stairs, who knows what could have happened? Or if you had cracked your head or had internal bleeding. I can go on, and I will when we're home. For right now, we need to get to the bottom of this. CT scan, blood work, x-rays to be safe. Well, you should have thought of that before you neglected your health and passed out. Tough love is what you need. You think I'm not? You're sitting in my ER with a concussion and bruises. Of course I'm fucking worried. Hey, you dizzy? Easy. Just breathe through it. I'm here. Deep breath in. Good, baby. And out. I don't like how pale you are. Let's get your oxygen rate. It won't hurt. I just need your finger. Don't talk. Let the oximeter work. 89. Shit. It's too low. I'm gonna have to get some oxygen in you. Hey, you're gonna be okay. Well, for one thing, 
I'm a great doctor. For another, I kind of like you, so I'm pretty sure I want you to stick around. Mm. It's gonna be okay. Don't apologize. Just take better care of yourself, okay? I don't like seeing you run down like this. And why are you working so hard, huh? What? Why would I be disappointed in you? Slow down. You're not making any sense. Oh, sweetheart. So all the overtime, all the extra stuff, you were trying to lay the work for promotion. Listen to me. I understand why you want to contribute to our finances, why you want things 50 50, but not like this. I'm a doctor. I make more because that's the way the world works. So if we have to split the rent 70 30, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is seeing you like this. I love you, doofus. Alright. Okay, then no more of this, alright? We're a team. We take care of each other. Right. So stop worrying about something that doesn't need your concern. <laughs> no, I know you actually shouldn't have prized if you're saying sappy stuff like that. Mm. And Mungo places the orders for the test. I'll be right back. <laughs> 